All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sean Witten Show here on WBJ Radio. I'm Stacy Street along with my partner Tony Briggs and Coach Sean Witten, head coach of your Elizabeth and Sockman. All right, Coach, uh, you know, we were all a little antsy last week. Uh, I want you to go back and talk about it, but the first comment I want to make is we played a lot of football at Elizabeth and High School, a lot of big games, but this was one of those games where it seemed like every single play was a battle and every single play mattered. It was, Stacey. It was a, you know, one of the bigger games we played in the last 17 years. Just, you know, just unfamiliar opponent that we haven't played in a long time. And then just over there in that environment, I'm not going to say it's an intimidating environment just much as the crowd and the noise. Uh, you know, first the time size, all, of, the size of thing, and then you know, just the amount of every play was a critical execution. Uh, at times, we were our own worst enemy with penalties and turnovers, but our guys really fought hard. And um, you know, when we needed to in the fourth quarter, I thought I thought our guys, you know, finished the game. We were strong. We executed when we needed to, and then to get the ball back with four minutes and 24 seconds left, not give it back to our defense. To run that clock out it says a lot about our football team. How much we've grown the last six weeks. Yep, and, and the bookends of that, the, the beginning of it, though, that that nine-minute drive to start the ball game, it just really took a lot out of the Dolphins' Bennett team, and it really emboldened you, didn't it? Well, I think you know, what, coming out of that game, you look back. I mean, we were ten of thirteen on third down. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that was in the first quarter. Right. Uh, you know, we executed about four, four third down conversions to keep the drive going. We had talked about our offense in the past of putting drives, more drives together. Uh, we've been used to kind of scoring quickly. Our, our longest drive of the season to this point was our opening drive against Science Hill. So we talked about sustaining drives, you know, keeping the ball away and, and, and really making, keeping our defense fresh. And boy, you know, I think the way our offense played coming out of the game really helped our defense uh, in the second half. You know, and it seems like each week we're, we're, we're talking about somebody stepping up. And, and the good thing about this 2023 team seems to be that it's different people each week. And, and this week, it, uh, everybody played very well, but Jirai and, and Zeth Mullins, uh, they really they really stepped up uh, in this ball game. Well, I think the biggest thing from our football team this year in, in 2023 is we got a lot of guys playing in all three phases. You know, we're, we're using multiple people on both sides. So you're not getting, uh, you know, a defense perspective or offense. You know, we're all pulling for one another. And it's kind of a little bit whatever it takes type of mentality. But, you know, you, you've talked about drives play on both sides of the football, even in short yardage goal line packages. Uh, you know, Zest's mentality of running football has been a game changer all year. If we can really focus on cleaning up some offensive execution, you know, make sure that we're kind of poised and under control, you know, kind of make sure we get alignment assignment, uh, we can really be scary these next couple weeks. You know, going back to the nine-minute drive, you know, we get down there, we get it inside the – First and second goal, we got a false start. We end up with 12 penalties. Ten of them were false start penalties. Some of it was crowd noise. Some of it was anxious. If we come away with that, we don't turn the ball over, and we score and punch it in. Do you see a totally different outcome? Well, I, I think so. I think that uh, you know the whole game. I thought that, you know Davis Bennett was kind of really. I felt they they knew that uh, any moment we could kind of run away with the game. I thought our guys continued to play hard. I thought that. You know, we knew they were going to run the ball extremely well. They got us on a couple pass plays. I thought our defense did a phenomenal job of kind of bending but not breaking. Yeah, sure, they did move the ball, uh, but, you know, we, we made it tough on them all night long. And then the fact that they got us on one crossing route, that you know, times when they pushed the ball deep, we're in great field position. Uh, you know, and then third down, we did a great job. And so, uh, you know, I thought one of the you, – you talk about it here, the – our, our execution was, was spot on. You know, I thought our, our first drive there, we had the plays we wanted. Uh, we had the formations we wanted. We had the ball in the right guy's hands. You know, we just came up a little bit short. But to have that ball for nine minutes um, really took a lot out of DB. It did. And you, and you go back and you look at your, your play calling. It seemed like they were run formation as run heavy as written on the run. You throw a bubble. You get out there and it's one on one. Or when they expanded the box, you'd come up underneath and run Zeth on the counter or run Holger on the counter. We, 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 yeah, Tony, we, we really tried to do – we looked at ourselves 
you know, coming into this week, a lot of tendencies, self, you know, self scout ourselves. We looked at ourselves. You know, we had we threw three fast screens on third and two. You know, uh, one and two to drive, one Eli uh, Evans to get the first down, uh, and then you know, I thought we did a really phenomenal job on our third down efficiency to come out of the game. You know, the, the way that we executed it on third down, and so uh, you know, we, we inside the goal line three times. You know, only came away with six points. Uh, you know, that, that's tough, but you know, in the end. Uh, you know, we, we, we executed at the end when we needed to, and the guys really stepped up and, uh, you know, in critical in critical moments of the game. And, and those six points was, was two crucial field goals by the freshman. Looking forward, that gives you confidence in him, knowing that if we get it inside the, if it's a 30 yard and in, it gives you confidence as a play caller and as a coach. Well, I mean, Will's super consistent. Well, we missed one against Salt and East on the first possession we had of fourth and six. We went for the goal line. I was kicking myself. You know, we probably should have tried to kick the field goal right there to give him the experience. But, you know, those type of environments, uh, you know, couldn't ask him for anything better out of Will. I mean, the snap, the hold the kick, we put him in tough situations in practice. But, you know, the second one on the left hash is a tough angle. Uh, really great execution there. So. Um, you know, we, we played a, a great game. Our guys played really hard. Uh, I thought when we needed to, we dialed it up when we needed to. Uh, we had big, big moments on a lot of people, but you know, our guys really played hard. You know, it, it, our, our attitude, our effort, you know, our willingness to win, uh, you know, we, we, you know it, it was right where we needed to be. Obviously, you know, we come out of the game, you know, you like to execute a little bit better in some, some situations there, but it's a, it's a great teaching moment, and all those things that happen during the course of that game can be corrected during the course of this week. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't worry about the coaching points. It's the effort that they come with. Final question before we uh, break that first half. You beat two 6A teams, Kingsport, Johnson City. You beat a 5A team in, in Morristown West. What would Pat say to you? Scheduling that team, those three teams, and beating them. What would Pat say to you? Well, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't been happy. You know that we had Kingsport and Dallas been in the same year, but uh, you know I think where our football team is and where football team is in East Tennessee, I think that was a that was a big game for us. I thought we needed that on the schedule this year. Uh, playing in that type of environment, it's only going to make it better for the long run. And then you know the fact that we've gone on six straight road games. Uh, that environment. I thought our guys really thrived in that environment uh, Friday night. Uh, we were ready. Uh, we, we didn't back down. We worked. We, you know, the minute they went back down and scored and made it seven to three, we put a drive together, go back down there and got, made it seven to six. So there's a lot of a lot of uh, you know good things that really happened in the course of the game. And then you know we, we got exposed in some areas uh, which we can learn from. But man. You know, to come away in the end, the uh, last five minutes of the game, um, our guys really stepped up. What do you rate this victory on? Of all of them coming in, we've seen your emotion on the sideline. Where do you put this up there? Well, it's, it's, it's really hard to kind of obviously top the state championship game, but there, there's been some the games that rose to get through there. You know, it has to go down in, a, in a, you know, probably in the top five for sure. Just the fact that we've not played DB in a long time. And then, you know, just uh, – in right here in the middle of the season too, Tony. You know, you know, we miss the game, road games, everything is kind of built up to it. You know, everybody talks about Dobbins Bennett band and just you know just the environment there. Uh, I thought that you know we've not really played in that type of environment since 2021. We played at Greenville in the quarterfinals, so I thought our guys have really answered the calling playing in, uh, against Science Hill, Mo West, and then obviously at Dobbins Bennett. I think I can speak to Stacy. Go ahead. Well, no, I'm going to say <laughs> Coach Ryder might have been mad at the beginning of the year. He was smiling yeah. Friday night. Yeah. I guarantee you. Yeah. And it was Stacy's top three that went. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. But that grin, you've seen him all the way from yeah. Elizabeth. That's going to do it for this first segment. We'll go back to the station for these words from our sponsor. When we come back, we'll preview back home at Citizens Bank Stadium for homecoming. Coach Whitten looking for his. 17th victory on homecoming. Well, all that coming right after this word for our sponsors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Coach Sean Whitten Show. Coach, it feels good to finally be back home at Citizens Bank Stadium. It's homecoming. It's a real homecoming this time. Well, it's it's uh, you know great for our players. Uh, what you know what they've got to go through. Uh, it should be a great environment tonight. And uh, you know, guys are obviously excited. You know, it would be really disappointed if guys don't come out and play well tonight. Execution. You know, our, our effort, our mentality, our toughness, 
all the things and the characteristics that we want our football team to play with, they're right on point. You know, our focus this this been this week has just really been focused on our offense catch execution. Uh, we get that sh uh, straightened out tonight, and uh, you know we're going to be have good things are going to happen to us. Speaking of the offense execution, you come in with with what you want in mind. What do you want to see this week as far as the progression? That we're making. Well, I, I think obviously the two things that stand out is in our in our, in our program and our teams, Tony. We we've never really been a huge penalized football team, and and if we have been, we've never been a team that turned over the ball. You know, for us to have three turnovers in a game, that's really uncharacteristic of us. And then uh, do, do like the hustle plays, do like the effort, uh, do like the guys that are sacrificing on both sides of the football, and our special teams has been dialed up. Uh, you know, but we, we really have to be a really good football team and, and can't can't turn the ball over. You know, tonight's pivotal, you know, it's game four of the conference. If we want to get where we want to get, this is this game right here is crucial. It's one more step to having the showdown with Greenville for the number one seed throughout the whole playoff. Well, I think there's a lot of similarities between this week and last week. You know, we've not played Northview in a long time. At least these guys haven't. New coach, new team, uh, first home game. Uh, so, you know, there's going to be a, a, a unique atmosphere here today. Youth football night, you know, Tia Duggar night, so homecoming night. So uh, there's going to be a lot of people here, a lot of excitement. So we've really got to dial in our execution, come out really play well. Coach, when you come in today, you talked about Northview Academy. We played them those two years that we were actually uh, in our conference back then. Uh, so it's been some time since we've seen them. Let our listeners know a little bit about what they're going to see tonight. From and, and you got a team here that's actually tied with us, the top, uh, the the four A ranked. Well, it's a team that's six and one. Uh, got beat last week by Carter, but you know it's a new coach. Justin Anderson was the offensive line coach for Catholic for many years. He comes in first year at Northview. Uh, it's a different roster. Uh, they 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 their, their enrollment's grown. They've got some different players in there that, that didn't play for them last year. You know, Coach Anderson, Coach Anderson's done a really good job of you know getting in the hallways and got some size out. They're they're a huge tight end football team. You're going to see multiple tight ends, 44, 5, 6. Uh, quarterbacks extremely athletic. You're going to see more of a pro style offense, a lot like you know you saw against Kingsport, but multiple backs, multiple tight ends. An athletic quarterback, all the movements a little bit, some bootleg, bootleg sprint out game, you know, really sound fundamental football team. So I think there's a lot of similarities going into last week. It kind of, uh, obviously, the script kind of flipped it, being a whole game for us. But, you know, a lot of times our guys are used to communicating with them out of the field. I thought for Friday night it was the first time that, you know, Dobbins better uh, breaking the huddle, us having to recognize formations, not being able to communicate with them on alignment assignment. Uh, you know, really came, kind of came into effect. So a lot of, a lot of teaching moments this week, and uh, we're going to face a really good strong opponent. And, and it will be similar to what we saw that because of the environment, because we're, we're cramming some of those things that you do during the season, like junior cycle night and homecoming. It's all because of the three-game season, and you don't want that running up on the last game of the season. So there's going to be a lot going on. It's going to be loud. And how do you keep your kids from getting too high? Tomorrow. Well, I think our guys just understand the, the focus, um, you know, just the attention to detail. We still got a long way to go. And then, uh, you know, just to, you know, make sure that, you know, what we've done to this point, the guys continue to do that, continue to preach our routine, continue to, you know, you know get our depth and get things going, continue to try to be balanced. And then, you know, just see if we can operate on another big stage and against a new opponent, uh, against a really good, a, a good crowd tonight. And, and uh, you know, see if we can really, uh, you know, really affect the game in a great way on the offensive end. Uh, you know, our, our defense. Everybody knows about cycling football defense. We're, we're not going to give up the plays on defense for offense. We're, we're going to be a really tough defense. You know, regardless if we're scoring, uh, you know, having penalties on offense. If we don't turn the ball over, we're going to be really tough to stop on defense. And so, our defense and special teams are going to lead the way. Uh, I mean, we're going to give up a little bit on offense to make sure that those two phases really lead our football program. And one final question for you is we, as we start really hitting the home stretch now and, uh, and you're aiming toward a goal, what's the feel in the locker room with these kids? Do, you know, we're all kind of getting a little excited here and antsy because we know what the product, 
What's the feeling for well, the players? Well, I, I think for us as coaches, you know, obviously we, we preach being humble quite a bit, you know, and we want to stay hungry, but we want to be humble. You know, football is a humbling football game. Uh, you know, you're only as good as your last victory or last time you step on a field. And then, you know, we really realize that, you know, there, there's, there's a huge target on our back these next two weeks. But tonight, against a really good team um, that we've not played in some time, I mean, it's an opportunity for them to come in and play spoiler. And, and so we've, we've, we've tried to bring our guys back down on a level where we want to be more consistent, you know, consistent across the board, you know, and in a lot of areas. But um, super proud of our guys' performance, our effort, the things that, you know, Tony talked about, that, you know, the things that you, you can't coach, our effort, our body language, how hard we're playing. We're getting it from all different angles. You know, we, we just really try to focus on ourselves the first couple of days of practice this week, really focused on Northview the last couple of days, and hopefully our guys will be ready to go. All right, Coach Whitten, as always, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the last word from Coach Sean Whitten before kickoff tonight, where the Cyclones finally are back home in the friendly confines of Citizens Bank Stadium. It's homecoming, it's a conference game, first home game uh, all the way into to, to October here, so it's a big night. And Elizabeth tonight. As your Cyclones take on Northview Academy tonight, and Tony and I will have your call after these words from our sponsors on WBEJ.